Hello there, my name is Ozren. Ah! ah, it's my brother. Woo! And uh, yeah, so this is just kind of a. Uh, let me just take this thing off because it's too small for me actually. I got it during like Christmas, whatever. Uh, but I didn't do that. <clears throat> New Year's with you guys, so I <laughs> used it for my birthday instead. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess this is gonna be more about me um, uh, reflecting on all that, but also to update you on my monetization progress. Oh, what? Who did that? Bizarre YouTube, your lord and savior. Yes, I. You did not make it, young one. I know, I know YouTube. Let me give you my money here. Oh yes, give me all your money. I I did not make the monetization um, requirements, obviously, because uh, I had such a short time to make it. Um, but uh, yeah, I I I will still do what I can do. Uh, I'm actually thinking of whether or not to make um, more gameplays because I, I, I'm, I am uh, playing a lot of games these days um, but the problem is it's games that are old so I don't know whether you guys want to watch it or not um, I will still be doing reviews uh, and all that I'm watching Black Panther this weekend I hope if not, then um, I watch it on my own time, and uh, you know, give you my brief thoughts still, and uh, maybe go back to to writing because um, that's where I think I can get more action, whatever, or you know, just doing what I want to do. Um, so the reason why, you know, I'm. And I'm so sorry about that, but you know, when I want to do videos, uh, it, it, they pick times like these to kind of bark. Uh, but yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me like, how come I'm not really consistent and all that. I, I'm trying to be consistent, but uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of filler. Uh, it's a lot of you know, um, it's a lot of spaces in between because I don't, I don't have much content yet like you know I, I'm still doing work I'm interning and all that and I'm still I'm still I know I'm still going back to studies and all that so I gotta prepare for that and you know it's it's a hiatus season right now so you know usually in January February you know there's not much things to talk about unless you want to talk about movie trailers and all that and I kind of forgotten about the movie trailers and all that it's not because I don't want to do them it's because I don't know when they drop because I'm in Malaysia and we don't really have like the you know E23 where the trailers drop and you know we don't really have that you know we just rely on like word of mouth and also like the general media like our YouTube is the really really old kind of YouTube like it's still all the all um, new stuff it's all in Chinese for some strange reason and sometimes you know in Malay because our national language is Bas Malaysia um, so yeah you know there's uh, not a lot of movie trailers there's not a lot of pop culture you know in our YouTube in Malaysian YouTube so I, I have to kind of search it on my own and sometimes the trailers are too long like I wanted to do the Incredibles 2 one but uh, you know I was just I was just not having it because it's too long and I had, I have to cut uh, the others out because there was like several trailers in one video and I was like nah this is not for me I want the official one and the ones I did find is uh, in two parts so I was like this is also not for me because you know it's two trailers in one like I have done that in the past just, and I find it really dumb because like it's two trailers in one or three trailers in one like pick a trailer you know stick with it be proud of your trailer of, of course you know they want to keep the hype up and everything um, so yeah, on the subject of uh, like the reactions coming back and all of that, I will be fully back 
in March. Um, you know, Star vs. the First Evil is coming back. Gotham is coming back. I'm really excited for Gotham. Not gonna be continuing Flash anymore because I feel it's just become boring. And on the subject of uh, Breaking Bad, I am gonna come back to it. I just need like you know timing, space, and all that so that I can bring it back. Um, you know the reason why I have those spaces is because I want to do uh, stuff on my own time, and um, you know do doing this requires energy and work and you know time and and you know stuff to talk about content to got talk about um and yeah I, I will be fully back in march on on the subject of black lightning uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue watching it because i think i know where it's gonna go i think i'm gonna probably gonna catch up with it and do a and everything in between and all that but uh yeah so I, um, you know that that is the state of my channel uh, right now um i don't know if i will you know continue i mean you know even try being consistent anymore because you know the algorithm has changed so much and i kind of don't know where you know where to go and everything for for me to to grow more because youtube has decided that um small creators don't matter anymore essentially and what that you know means for me and a lot of other small youtubers is you know we kind of we kind of have to you know go into a place where we have to fight each other instead of working with with each other and I think that's s such a shame when you when you can't you know be sure of your competition and your allies because your 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 competition is also fumbling and and you kind of you know see where they're, where they're going and everything and obviously I you know I, I have had you know talks with myself and, and you know understandings that you know I, I can't make the the monetization uh, eligib eligibility because it's such a sh short frame of time and I don't have the, the 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 you know the fan base enough fan base and enough pull or enough you know uh, just stature to kind of pull people to to my channel uh, because YouTube does not you know encourage small creators growth um, and instead you know promote stuff like you know Logan Paul stuff and PewDiePie stuff and you know John Tron stuff and you know a lot of you guys are maybe like oh but they banned his ads and everything that doesn't matter he's still allowed to produce videos and and you know it's come to a point where he doesn't care anymore like you know like even like PewDiePie and whatever you know they can always go to another uh, platform patreon whatever because they've already established the the, the fan base and uh, what YouTube is actually doing is encouraging more of these guys to come out more of them to 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 follow in his footsteps to go on the the wrong side of virality i'm i'm fine with viral videos like you know s stupid videos becoming viral videos is is you know the way youtube is built like that is the way of life on youtube but when the stupid the stupidity affects other youtubers that's kind of where I think YouTube should draw the line and instead of having bots you know moderate these type of things I think they should have humans moderate these type of things because even like you know things like copyright and everything you know it's very easy to kind of see you know this guy is not copyright infringing so there's no use claiming it you know and you know Susan or the CEO of uh, YouTube has since said like she's gonna involve herself more in the community and that's all fine and good but you know she said she wants to do it through her own YouTube channel and 
what my suggestion is you know if you really want to interact with your community via your own channel change everything like be a small youtuber see how hard it is to beat your own algorithm like th that's one of my biggest tips for this woman to to take home with her because if she goes with all her reputation you know stature whatever that's cheating like you know i always say like you know if you've already built a fan base somewhere else and that's all fine and good but when you come to another platform with that fan base it, that's cheating you're not doing any more work than you already have yes it's already mo like multi-level networking whatever but it's still a point where you know you didn't do the other work for youtube like you never you know built that staircase on youtube you built that staircase somewhere else and then you brought it here so hey you know that's just my opinion um but whatever i guess you know um yeah so i guess you know more if it's more a reflection on myself i guess you know i am very proud of some things that i've i've you know overcome and everything i i'm pretty excited about this year you know i have a good feeling about this year uh but also i'm i'm cautiously optimistic you know i i, I am that realist i am still pessimistic but you know i i keep it more towards the real realistic side because it's it's more natural for me nowadays like you know i i don't expect too much out of life you know i understand how things work and you know, how business works and the, but i think the most funny thing for youtube to come out and say is like oh no no don't worry it's it's not it's not about logan paul you know we've we've thought about this monetization change since like last year or whatever and i'm like maybe but there is always a trigger for these type of changes to come but maybe you had it planned but i'm pretty sure it's not so early in this in this year like i'm pretty sure advertisers pulling up because of logan paul made this happen and they're just like oh no it's not paul, logan paul and next day logan paul taser dead rats and youtube's just like fuck me like you know we already screwed over the small youtubers we can't do much anymore so let's just ban his ads and let him still do videos but we are banning his ads is that a punishment i don't think so i think it's more of a slap on the wrist or you know just like slap to his face but like that's nothing you know if you don't kill his channel i i would still say there's nothing being done um so yeah those are those are all my opinions um you know to those of you who are like well you know the, this you know pushes people you know who want to do this for money that's all fine and good you, it's it's your opinion but at the end of the day you gotta ask yourself do you want to get paid for your hard work like you know the old videos are not monetized and will never be monetized you know what i'm saying like you can advertise your older videos for for all of eternity but if no one is watching there is no money going into it because it's already been watched and that is my opinion as well like you know of course there's always the rewatchability sense of the youtube word as well as the english language yes but how many times can you really re-watch something like that's not just that's not possible like even if you were to re-watch it over and over again it's not gonna be as much ad revenue as the newer videos that you can monetize you know what i'm saying like it's all just business play you know what i'm saying like it's not about making money it's about making sure that everything you do leads up to something and hey you know you wanna 
you want to build more groundwork go ahead but you know i'm just saying if you have enough groundwork to jump to another ground then probably you should jump to the other ground like you know but you know i don't like my friends have advised me to go to work towards twitch and everything but i don't really like you know streaming i i just find it straining to buy a computer and if i if i don't edit i, I kind of have an ocd effect like i i need to edit like i need to put in my intro i need to put in the outro because that's how i've always been built from youtube itself because you know i've I'm, i wanted to do this for youtube and i i really wanted to learn you know to do these intros and all that because i do want to i do want to go into production but because now that you know i i haven't met the monetization eligibility and of course you know in america it's still the 19th of february so technically eve of my birthday but you know in malaysia it's 20th so i'm taking it as 20th because i'm not going to do a video tomorrow um so yeah it's just it's just me thinking about my future on youtube and it, it's more of like i i'm still going to do videos but it's not going to be really really often uh and you know no matter what i do i don't think i'll ever reach the monetization so probably i will kind of fall out of it eventually i think you know i'm th i'm thinking i'm start starting to fall out of it already because you know it discourages you from for making videos if you're not seeing how your videos are doing if it's if it's not performing well if it's not doing well then you know h how can i tell because you know view counts are only view counts if i don't know I'm, I'm a mathematician I'm a data analyst like and a financial analyst so if I don't know how to project I cannot project and I cannot see myself you know improving over the, the time and I cannot see myself saying okay I need to do this because this has done well in the past like looking at the ad revenue and, and the view count you know that's how I've played off of you know uh, the YouTube game that is my way and it has since proven to be good you know i did a lot of advertising for my channel I, you know shared my own videos and let people share it through through social media and all of that you know thank you for for suggesting the amino you know that's where i'm at also you know a lot of things has has come and gone you know from youtube but you know the the issue here is that no matter no matter how how much you wanna argue that this is for the best, it is also for the worst because eventually YouTube is not gonna have creators and then where is it gonna be? Like you know, like that's just that's just my concern for YouTube because I do have a love hate relationship with YouTube. I'm just like there are some things that you can do and there are some things that can't be done and you know so far they have chosen the wrong decision time and time and time and again so i don't know if it's habit for them at this point in time but that's just my point of view and uh yeah i think i think that's it for, for my birthday vlog um you know that there comes a time where uh, you know you you say there's you say to yourself like uh, why did i even come into youtube and, and the reason to mine is that i w was saving this for the 1k subscriber special but I, I don't think i will reach it you know because i'm not consistent enough so might as well you know say that you know it is uh, for me a point in time where i wanted to join youtube for for a new number of reasons and number one reason was i, I didn't have a place for my voice and i i wanted 
my voice to be heard so I chose to go on YouTube and I chose to learn how to edit and I chose to buy this editor I have bought an editor I have bought the camera I have not bought it my proper microphone but I'm looking into that you know um, and it comes to the point where I say to myself well you know if I if I can't make success here where I've worked so hard then where do I fit in in the real world or the outside world whatever you want to call it um, and it's just such a shame that I'm second guessing myself because of these types of changes and everything else um, and I guess that's how life is you know when you kind of say well maybe this wasn't for me you know um but yeah i i still love to talk about movies i still love to talk about tv shows you know I, I, that's really the second reason why i came onto youtube because i have such a passion for for tv shows and movies you know every time someone brings up a movie i, I will always say yes yeah, there's that movie or oh that movie um and yeah i think it's so far you know today has been a good birthday i guess you know and there's nothing much to look forward to anymore you know in, in your birthday day um it's more of the same i guess you know it's not really special anymore you know as i was like oh get cake you know when you're you were younger but you, when you get older, you know, you tend to think of all things you've achieved and all that. And I've achieved a lot, you know. I, I, I can't deny that, you know, I I never thought I, I could do a second channel and be successful. Like, you know, I'm, I'm so humbled and I thank all of you guys who have stayed with me throughout and have watched me, you know, bypassing thank you guys too because you know you're you're contributing to my channel and i hope you guys subscribe you know but if you don't want to at least interact in the comments because i'm not getting a lot of comments and i don't know why um but yeah uh that's about it guys uh thank you guys so much and uh i'm sorry for babbling on and on um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video uh, which most probably will be in March. <laughs> it's not going to be so soon, guys. So, anyway, see you guys then.